Hey you guys, thank you for clicking on my video on how to get rid of your self-doubt. Now you clicked on here because you want to do something but you're seriously doubting yourself and you're kind of over it. So you like to just move on with your life and do that thing that you've always wanted to do and get rid of that little niggly little dialogue that's in your head constantly stopping you from achieving everything that's within the power, the mastery, the happiness and satisfaction. Now, I'm really gonna be sharing with you guys my really easy steps on how I deal with the self-doubt that always comes up, no matter who you are. Um, so if you wanna know how to really minimize that voice and get a move on, then keep on watching. All right, people, moving on to the video of self-doubt. So how to get rid of it. Before we get into that, I actually need to go over with you guys what self-doubt really is. So self-doubt um, essentially is a feeling that's created from your thoughts. So you feel that you're doubting yourself when that inner dialogue starts telling you you can't do it, you're not qualified enough, you're not pretty enough, you're not funny enough, or you name it, you know the voice. And the whole point of it is to stop you from doing that thing that you're about to do. Now, why though? Why do we have it? It just seems like such a counterproductive thing, doesn't it? It just seems like we'd all get along so much better and get to places so much easier if we didn't have it, right? I hear, I hear, but here's the thing. There's a purpose for everything. So self-doubt is actually a protection mechanism. That's right. Your brain is a survival machine. Its sole purpose in your life is to do everything in its power to keep you safe. Granted, it's done a pretty good job. You still survived up until today. If you're watching this YouTube video, You've survived, well done. Your brain is a machine. Give itself a round of applause. Be grateful for your brain. Be grateful for your protection mechanisms that it sets in place every single day so that you can wake up and breathe and eat and live and grow. But the modern day human wants to achieve and grow and be better. So how do we minimize it? if it's something that we're always going to have because it's instinctual for our brain to protect us. How do we stop it? Well, minimize it because like I said, it's always gonna be there. Really simple. So the first thing that our brain doesn't know the difference between perception and reality. That's right. So our brain doesn't know when we're making something up or when it's real. Let me give you a little bit of an example. There was a study done with some basketball players a little while ago, some university, basically where they wanted to test the power of the mind and visualization. So they had uh, a basketball team um, split up into three groups. The first group, um, they stopped practicing altogether. They stopped going to practice, they stopped going to training, they just forgot all about it for about a week or so. Second group, they didn't go to practice, didn't go to training. However, every single day they visualized practicing and training third group and the final group as you can probably tell they were the ones that actually went to training actually practiced actually you know honed in on the on that technique that they needed to practice and after about a week or so i can't remember the exact timing of it but basically the group that didn't go and didn't visualize as you can imagine got worse they didn't get any better at all they actually got worse um no surprises there now, the group that went to training and actually physically practiced their techniques and everything like that for a week or so, they improved their skills by 24% from the week beforehand. 
Now, the second group that visualized practicing and improving their skills, they improved by 23%. That's right, the people that visualized going, they didn't physically do anything. But because our brain can't tell the difference between when we are visualizing something and seeing it happen to when it's actually happening, they improved. So when you are in self-doubt and you're going through that process, you now have to realize within that moment that, hang on a second, perception and reality are one and the same thing for our brains. And if that's the case, then the next step is to get rid of the thoughts that are triggering your self-doubt. So the thoughts are there because, well, your brain is scared that you're about to do something that you could fail at, you could be embarrassed, you could let people down, there could be physical um, harm to you coming. So instead of focusing on that, what you wanna do is actually visualize yourself succeeding in that thing. So let's say you want to start a blog. First thing that might come up for you is, oh, I've never blogged before, I'm not a good writer, I don't know how to do any of this stuff, yada, 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 yada. Right? So in that moment, you wanna realize, hang on a second, my brain doesn't know the difference. So right now, what I'm practicing in my head is the outcome called, I'm going to fail. That is why you aren't going to do that thing. Most likely, you're not going to start that blog because you've rehearsed what failure looks like in your head. And now it's become a reality for your brain. So it's going to stop you. So we're gonna flip that. We're going to say, oh, okay. Um, I'm going to visualize myself as writing a blog every single week, it's actually gonna be really successful. And I'm gonna have this many subscribers to my blog, I'm gonna have this many viewers and readers, and people are going to love it, and this is how I'm gonna make people feel, and basically create a movie reel of you succeeding. Now, in that moment, it's not enough to just visualize what it's going to look like once you've succeeded, you also have to visualize yourself without the doubt. So you have to envision yourself of what that's going to look like when I'm about to open up my blog website and I'm about to start writing and then I hit my first submit and go live. And what I'm going to look like and feel like without the self-doubt and how successful that's going to be. So, recap. Self-doubt. What is it? It's a feeling caused by your thoughts. Those thoughts are there to protect you from a perceived or real threat. Your brain doesn't know the difference between perception and reality, so our job is to essentially trick it into so that it doesn't have to feel the need to protect you from something that may not even happen. That's it, my wonderful people. Two steps, two steps. Understand that when you are feeling self-doubt, your brain is trying to protect you and you are currently rehearsing failure in your mind. Then once you've realized that, you shift it to positive and successful thinking. You start thinking about what it's gonna look like when you do succeed and then your brain will let go of the need to have to protect you. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the fastest and most effective way to release the self-doubt cycle that stops you from doing that thing that you've always wanted to do. I hope that this really helped you guys. Um, also, I'm going to put a link at the bottom in the description of a book that actually goes over a similar exercise. It's all about NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, and it kind of goes over these similar processes. So if you're interested in this kind of stuff, have a read of the book. It's got some unbelievable gems. Um, pretty much every second page is a new exercise. 
to help you guys get through mental blocks with yourself, with other people, um, and basically how to live a more happy, successful, um, and empowering life. Subscribe if you like and click the bell notification thing -o, um, so that you guys can get a few more of my videos when they come up. Um, I basically am going to keep sharing all of these self-empowering nuggets and hopefully get everyone connected to the strength within. Alright guys, have a good one and I'll uh, see you next week. Bye!